dead draw gaming. Like no one ever was. What's up everybody? My name is Ryan B. Hebert here at Madison Regionals alongside Trevor Osberg and we are going into round six of Swiss. Mm. We've got a stellar game for you all, two 5-0 opponents. We're looking at Brian Hume and Adi, two very interesting teams. We've got one of them, when we're already looking around on these team sheets, we got Brian Hume running the new chalk that's been popping up. Absolutely, yes. This and chalk we team... we go. We got team preview already on us. This chalk team has been running rampant during this regional for basically the entire day. Yeah, we've seen many players already running this chalk team, and there's a couple variants on it as opposed to items and slight move sets, but... It's definitely been picking up popularity. Absolutely, Trevor. This team has seen such success today. And the one thing that we just cannot sleep on is Kangaskhan and Heatran. They've progressively just been able to pick up KO after KO against many different types of Pokemon. But I want to take a moment to switch over to Audi's team. Uh, something now, a little there, bit... We see, yeah. we see Sand coming up. Oh, yeah. That's one of the teams that we usually don't see because Rain and Sun have been taking key. Mm -hmm. But yes. we've got a got a sun or sand team on our hands here absolutely sand has not been very popular today and it hasn't been popular in a while due to the rise in popularity of rain and sun but i just want to point out the america bird on Audi's team we do have that yeah do not want to be putting a lando against that thing no you do not uh due to its defined ability and the game is getting started let's get to it let's see what these leads are in a few seconds if i'm brian I would love to just leave Kangaskhan. I don't yeah, know about you. Fake out's always a wonderful thing, right off the bat. Yeah, and if I'm Audi, that Incineroar doesn't look too bad Incineroar either. Incineroar looks fantastic. And as we oh. see, Incineroar Braviary. Mm, there it is. You got your fake out, you got Tailwind, you got your Defiant if they want to bring the Lando into you. Oh. Kangaskhan, Kartana on Brian Yum's side. Great starts on either side. That Kartana pressuring the Braviary and Incineroar with that Sacred Sword. But you fake out pressure on both sides. Fake out looking. If I'm Kangaskhan, you might be going for Fake Out, though, into the Braviary for sure this turn, and accepting that Incineroar might get the attack off onto your Kartana spot. Yeah, I totally agree with that, Trevor. Uh, I think that this Kartana is probably the number one threat on the field right now for Audi. If, I, if I'm in Brian's spot, though, I'm definitely seeing the Kartana swap into a Heatran, though. Yeah, I could definitely see that, Trevor. Uh, a Heatran would be a very safe play here, uh, taking a Brave Bird very comfortably, or even a Flare Blitz. If that Flare Blitz goes in, you get your Flash Fire boost. Oh, that's lit, dude. That could be that could be a real nice swap in right here. Plus, Absolutely. if he's going for Fake Out into it, you're a Steel type, you're resisting mm. that hit. Oh, yeah. Everything oh, thrown yeah. at you besides potentially a low kick, you're going to resist. Absolutely, Trevor. Absolutely. It's only a matter of time, though. You know, the players only have Figure so long. Here we go. Oh, there's the there switch. There it is. And here's the Heatran, I'm thinking. No, the Lander is Therian actually. swapping in to get the Intimidate that, off onto the Incineroar, but boosting the Braviary. Given that attack. Braviary, the plus one, though, shockingly Ooh. enough. So, if this Braviary is not going to get hit with a Fake Out or a Double Edge this turn, Incineroar even not to swap out. out. Into We've the Cresselia, Bulky Boy entering the field. That'll easily take Fake Out. Absolutely. So let's see exactly what they're going for here. Will this Kangaskhan be going into Braviary with a fake out? We do see fake out come out, and it and is we will. into mm. the Braviary. A critical hit as well. Very that did lucky. That take it really well, though, for how much damage Kangaskhan's usually put out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that so, Braviary taking it like a champ. Could definitely be a bulkier Braviary. But the critical hit, even the critical hit, though, still, that didn't do as much as it could have. So now, Trevor, I'm wondering what item is on this Landorus? Can it outspeed this Braviary? It could be Choice Scarf Landorus. We don't know that right off the bat, but you can train Landorus to outspeed Braviary naturally. Correct. So if you are max speed on that Landorus, you could just be outspeeding it right away and firing off Rock Slide. Yeah, that is very true. That Braviary not wanted to take a Rock Slide. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a switch into potentially an Excadrill or Feeny. I, I don't know. I think you might go Protect on your Braviary. You might just set up Trick Room here. That Assuming is true you well, are yeah. the slowest on the field with this Braviary Cresselia, and there's the Protect. Yep, there it is. Unless Brian's doubling up into that Cresselia, or gets the, the flinch, rock slides flinch, we could yeah. have Rock Slide flinches. And that Landorus did go in before the Kangaskhan. That Rock Slide doing nothing to Cresselia. And we do see the frustration. And the Trick Room yep, does go there off. Is. There is no flinch on the Cresselia. Yep. Audi getting that speed control with that Trick Room, swapping the terrain. This is not looking too good for Brian here. You got but a plus one 
Braviary out here now. That Ooh. thing, that thing's ready to fire off Brave Birds or even Flying EMZs if he's got that. Absolutely, that uh, that Landorus does not like to take those Brave Birds. Doesn't like he doesn't like anything that's going to be coming into it if it is. No, that Kangaskhan though, not feeling too pressured on the field right now. There goes the Landorus. That there doesn't want to take this hit. Kylie Chua. Oh, and it is the, the top of Finny. Okay, okay. So that might be slower than the opposing Braviary if that That's does true. come out. Yeah, if there's Wait, no... Wait, that is a Misty, Misty C Seed Braviary. Rocking. Oh, wow. Hel so we see a helping hand come out. Something's going to be taking this plus one I helping hand. I think it's hand. going into that Finny. That looked like it went into Kangaskhan. It is going into Kangaskhan, and it is enough to KO. Clean Kangaskhan KO. is down. Wow. All right, that is a lot of recoil you are taking on that Braviary. <laughs> but I think it's worth it to take out oh, a Kangaskhan. I, getting rid of Kangaskhan right off the bat. Because mm. not only have you either, you've got to throw in that Kartana now, but that's not in a good spot in Trick Room. No, absolutely not. if you don't throw not. that out and you throw out Landorus, you're I in heard you're trouble. getting another Defiant boost off yeah, of that I, oh, Braviary. Oh, no. Oh. Really? Oh, that's a... Wow. That's a bad idea to do here, too. Oh, geez. Well, I don't know if Brian has much of a choice here. Does he want to get rid of this Kartana to, from a Brave Bird? Or? It also depends how fast that Tapu Fini and Braviary are. That's true. They're around we do the see same the Kartana. Speed. Yeah, that's, that's very we'll true. We'll see exactly who's the faster one of the two. Brian not wanting to give an Intimidate boost to that Braviary. If I'm not Brian right now, I want that Braviary off the field as soon as possible. And if you're sitting there from Adia's side, you might be going for a Protect. Yeah. To, and then swapping Cresselli out for something to be able to answer that Tapu Fini. But I'd love to see an Ice Beam. Team, yeah, there it is. Oh, we got the Ice, <laughs> ice beam, beam into the into Cartana. Yeah. And that does doing... very little damage. Ooh. Might be saying Assault Blast. And yeah. he did not attack that Braviary, maybe he thinking there's a Protect. Not. Wow. That bra Roost. Roost revealed Ooh, from Braviary. That health back. Wow, Roost is such a great move. Commonly used on Braviary and Zapdos as a way to get rid of flying for a turn. Oh, the knockoff into knock that Knockoff goes off. And we do see an item get dropped, so it yes. is not the Psyche MZ that some people no, are running. No, Wiki Berry Cresselia, so it's not going to so that just your standard back. healing mm -hmm. one, but yeah, that health's gone unless Moonlight comes out. That's very true, very true. But coming into this next turn, you now do have the plus one on your, on your top of any. That is very true, Trevor. Plus one on that Tapu Fini. But is it enough to get rid of that Braviary? Yeah, now that that Braviary is almost sitting there around 90% health or so, yeah. it's looking pretty comfortable. And here comes the helping, helping hand. hand. Yeah, you this just have to, to wonder if this uh, Brave Bird's going to go into the Fini. And, and it, it avoids the attack. Oh, if that if, goes into hmm. Kartana now, and you take your clean kill on Kartana. Wow. And that Cresselia just eats up the plus one Something's going to be taking this. Yeah. I don't know about you, but missing a muddy water. Oh, into that That Fini. is a clean kill with the helping hand plus yeah. one. Oh, wow. 2.25 modifier on that. That's definitely going to take a kill. America Bird just putting in the work. It's definitely going to do it. Yeah, We do absolutely. see a Smart Strike come out. Ooh, yeah, into that Smart Braviary. Strike is going to be a decent choice, but that's not, not enough, enough to take the kill. Wow. Adi's just so now had... we're in we're in Trick Room still. Yeah. This Landers has to come out. Yeah, it has to come out. It's going to proc that plus one, too. So oh. now, we're, now we're going to plus two on this Braviary. Plus two Braviary. Your minus one Cresselia doesn't really matter, but... You just got to wonder, what are the stats on these Pokemon? Because Adi's, Adi has been able to just keep these Mons out here and comfortably yeah. take hits this all day. Braviary, this Braviary is definitely relatively bulky, especially because yeah. we saw a Misty Seed on that thing, even. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Misty Seed and Roost on this Braviary. Mm. Yeah. We also saw the Protect. That's true. And the Brave Bird. So we I have seen we have Brave the full Bird. Set? No, we're, no, we've only got three. That so we could true. have potentially Superpower, Return. U turn, Tailwind. Whirlwind, even. Whirlwind, yeah. That's another choice. <laughs> Nothing but, to take out now, though. Match And was we see forfeited. the forfeit coming out from Brian here, knowing yeah. that that Braviary is going to get a kill this turn. There's Absolutely. nothing to do about it. I think this was a safe play for Brian, though, to take the loss. You know, conserve yeah. what you have. From that, from that situation, you're. You're already sitting there. You've got your. You're already down. Because he's. That yeah. Brave Bird, you know there's a Brave Bird coming out. You're in Trick Room. Something's going to get hit. It Absolutely, Trevor. Yeah, that speed control early game really set up Audi. Just, just yeah. cruise the entire Once rest he got of the that game. Trick Room up, that was that was pretty much game. That Braviary sat out there. Calling calling that he wouldn't attack it and roosting in his face. Yeah, that was that good. Was, that was a surprising turn. That was that, good. 
Him getting through that with the Roost definitely helped pay off then in the end. I'm really glad to see this Braviary on stream today because we've been seeing Intimidate taking advantage of teams very often throughout the entire streaming day and throughout the tournament. So glad yeah. to see some representation with, with the Vi Sharp earlier shutting down yeah, Intimidate very true, users very as true. well. Yeah. I mean, Vi Sharp, Braviary, and Milotic, all yeah. of them just trying to get rid of these Incineroars and these Landorises. Yeah. Besides that, there's not too many Intimidates, though, out there. Maybe the few Gyarados running around, but even then... Here and there, yeah. yeah. I, there's not much. Landorus and Incineroar are fighting for King right now. Yes, I, I would totally agree with that. Um, if I was Brian right now, though, I liked the King as Khan lead, but he's got to shut down the Braviary if it's coming back. I don't know if it was the Braviary as much as that Cresselia. He needs an answer Very to that true. thing. If that thing presses Trick Room and starts firing off Helping Hands to help out... I don't know exactly what there is that he can be doing here. Yeah, what does Brian have to counter that Cresselia? I mean, he has he got, his own Cresselia. He revealed the knockoff, and that did a decent chunk to Cresselia, but Cresselia is such a bulky Pokemon. Bulky it doesn't boy. matter. Bulky boy. You're sitting there with, if I'm remembering, it's 120 on both your defenses and yeah. 100 health. Face stat, you are taking hits all day long yeah. before you die. Absolutely. Absolutely. I just got to say... Your knowledge on all of these stats is just tremendous. And we do see Incineroar Cresselia come out. So he is... The king has returned! We are sitting ready. We are ready to fire off fake outs and trick rooms here this turn. Absolutely. This Cresselia is just ready to get some speed control. And I don't think it's coming out, though, this turn. I'm seeing that fake out into that Cresselia every time this game. Absolutely. There's no way you're allowed to get this off. No, and no. If if you're Adi, I think you have to accept it that you're going to be trading fake outs this turn. Yeah, I totally agree. Although, I mean, getting some chip damage off onto the Kangaskhan wouldn't be bad as well. But I do see that Feeny just comfortably doing a con line. Yeah, that's why I think you yeah. might have to fake out into that Finny slot. Gotcha. If you yeah. fake out into the Finny slot with Incineroar, otherwise it might go just for Muddy Waters. Mm -hmm. Maybe get the accuracy drop on Incineroar, but... It doesn't really matter for Cresselia, though. Yeah, Cresselia <laughs> won't care about its accuracy. The only thing it's revealed so far is you've got Ice Beam and Helping Hand. You can't miss Helping Hand. No, you can't miss that. So, can't not miss that. from this situation, I think we might see turn one just be Mega Evolve and then two Fake Outs to stop yeah. and just basically pause the turn. Makes the most sense. Yeah. What do you think Brian has in the back for this game? Um... Oh, I can into definitely. The that's an interesting choice. Absolutely. And the call mine does yep. go up. But, but will we see the trick room? I think we've definitely got to see a trick room coming out here. Maybe Brian wants the trick room for his Tapafini. There's yeah, maybe, the trick room. I mean, from this situation, he doesn't have to care. No. Your Tapafini is really. not threatened at all by anything on the nope. field right now. He showed that the Braviary is the one thing that can threaten it. And Tapu Fini out under speeds that Braviary we saw. It does, yeah. So, so this, this Fini's sitting comfortably on the field for Brian so yeah, right now. So, yeah, setting up this Trick Room. I don't know exactly what it's going to answer, though, for, or that he has to answer this Tapu Fini. Yeah, absolutely. He might have to risk a swap out, but even in that case, you know. If you swap out, what are you swapping into? One I of know. your fast ones. Yeah, You've got seriously. Excadrill and maybe Tyranitar, but even then, Tyranitar doesn't want to eat a Moonblast. Or, or muddy, muddy water. water. Yeah, for that matter. You don't so. like any of them. You may get your special attack boost no. or your special defense boost, but oh, we see the switch matter. out into Sotch at 99. There it is. And there is the heat, heat train. So don't he's sleep catch... on the heat. Oh, if this is a flare blitz into that uh, heat, oh, he is might... it? He called. It is. Oh he my the turn. gosh! And wow. he fires off the plus one muddy water. Muddy water into that Incineroar and Cresselia. Cresselia going to take it comfortably, but that Incineroar that does Incineroar not like it. That Incineroar did not like it. And it shows that it is the Pinch Berry, not the mm -hmm. Assault Vest. But yeah. even then, it's not going to take another one of those. And now you've got your yeah. you've got your Flash Fire boost on the Heatran. Wow. You're ready to start taking kills. Brian Yume really taking advantage of the opponent's Trick Room. Yeah. Adi's Trick Room mode definitely helped with the Braviary when he was able to get it boosted up. Yes. But I think Brian definitely adjusted and said... There is no way that you're going to kill me in Trick Room this time. Yeah, Landorus. So we see Incineroar with a knockoff. Oh, there it is. We see a Shucka Berry. Berry. Ooh, going so with the Shucka. So he wants to be able to actually take a hit, though, if he is ever going to be hit by an Earthquake. Yeah, so is that Heatran really doing a lot of damage? Probably eh, not. Doesn't matter, though. From that spot, though, he got <laughs> a lot of damage off. Incineroar is gone. That's true. 
Down and, goes uh, the king. Adi's realizing, yeah, he doesn't want this trick room anymore. No, no, he does not. Trick room so, is gone. Off from this the situation, field. Brian's looking pretty good, and Adi's. He spent two turns on that Cresselia doing nothing but changing speed and kind of realizing it doesn't help. Oh, especially with Excadrill the Excadrill coming the out back. onto the field. Well, with that Chuckaberry gone, that Heatran is now feeling pretty threatened, but that Feeny's sitting on the field. There could be an earthquake, but yeah. yeah, you've got a muddy water that'll still take take care of that for you. Now, I'm curious to see if that uh -oh. no, helping hand, will we see the EQ or a rock I slide? I think we got, yep, we yep. got ourselves a Z-move coming off of this Excadrill. Oh boy, what do we got? We are definitely going to be taking out this Finny this turn, I feel. You, you don't think it's going into the Finny? I, I think that Finny's threatening you way too much, because it... Him showing that Excadrill means he's probably got Tyranitar in the back, I feel. Tectonic Rage into the Feeny. We want Absolutely. that Tapu Feeny gone this yeah. time. Yeah. Adi realizing that that Tapu Feeny is definitely going to cause havoc. But Right off the field. You've got a potential heat wave coming here. Mm -hmm. And there it is. That's still a super effective hit into your mole. Oh. <laughs> oh. And he gets the double kill with those wow. flash fire boosts. Yep, that flash fire really paying off for him late game. Now, depending on what's in the back, we might have, if Braviary comes out, I don't know if Braviary can clean this up. I don't think it can. And yeah. it is and Tyranitar. And there's the T-Tar. Absolutely. And a lot of Heatrans like to run Flash Fire or Earth Power, so you've got one super effective move. This turn's probably going to be spent uh, a little slow here. With, Absolutely. With uh, Protect's coming out. Yeah, Protect coming out, possible fake out from that Kangaskhan. Yeah, I assume you're going to Protect if you're Adi here, try mm -hmm. and get rid of it for the fake out, but Kangaskhan definitely able to just threaten you with a low kick. And we do, we do see the see Kartana, the Kartana, Kartana back yep, in. coming back in. And that As, being able to have Sacred yeah. Swords is just going to clean up this game. I believe we saw it Smart Strike earlier in Game 1 against the That's right, Braviary. we did see Smart yeah. Strike, so that's also super effective. Yeah. So. You take your choice of how much you want to be able to do here, but regardless, you're still in not the greatest spot if you're sitting here with Adi's yeah. in Adi's position. So we're definitely gonna be seeing a game three, I feel. Yeah. Do we think Adi's gonna reveal the mega? I mean, I the don't only mega think on you the team? need to reveal it at all because you already know <laughs> it is. Yeah. From this spot, when you're looking at it. Now he's just trying to protect himself yeah, out of at here. At this point, this T-Tar is just down for the count. So we do see the Sacred Sword. Wow. So seeing Knock Off, Sacred Sword, and Smart Strike, mm -hmm. I think it's safe to assume that we're looking at most likely a Scarf, or not Scarf Cartana, but probably Assault Vest Cartana. Yeah, here. it makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Leaf Blade as the last one, but you just have yep. to commend Brian on coming back into that second game, getting in the right mindset, and switching it around, making use of his own... His trick room his mode. Opponent's yes. trick room his opponent's trick room that got set up for him yes. with the top the top of Vinny being the key player there top of Vinny was able to now that there wasn't a braviary threatening it with a brave bird at plus one with a helping hand it's pretty safe a lot of people argue what the best tapu is these days and uh, for this game it's Vinny ah uh, yeah Seeing as both sides have a finny, great observation here. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so going into game three here, if I am Adi, what am I going to do? Because we know that Brian is not going to be giving up Intimidates with that Landorus anymore. Um, what are his options? I think, looking at his situation, though, we saw that he brought Kartana, Finny, Kangaskhan, and Heatran. I think I like my fast mode right away. Go right into the Excadrill here, I feel. Yeah. Titar Excadrill? I think Titar yeah. Excadrill. We want to go with the fast Excadrill out here. We we saw the Z move. If he's yeah. not bringing Landorus or that Cresselia, there's nothing that's really going to enjoy eating that Tectonic Rage. Very true. Very true. We haven't seen Brian bring his Cresselia whatsoever. So. You see exactly. From yeah. And it, it is the same lead as game two, the one that worked. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Braviary Excadrill. So we do have the Excadrill, mm. though, here. You know, I think I, I had the same idea as Adi. Maybe he was going to bring the Landorus this third game just to bring it back. Just kinda, Even then, kinda psych him out. and we do see Misty Seed Proc again coming off, helping out his opponent there. <sighs> These players just playing off of each other. Man, what a great set. So now that we're sitting here, though, we've got a plus one special defense on that Braviary, and we've we've already seen that thing likes to take hits. It really does. This is so, a bulkier, bul bulkier Merica bird than we've seen in the past. Um, plus we... We're also free to be able to fire off an Earthquake here. We got ourselves a Flying-type. So. Yeah, yeah, but very turn true. turn one, 
Do you, are you going to try and punish P Brian if he's trying to boost up? You know, that's a good question. I think so. I fake think out is a possibility. That is very true. Fake out into that fake out muddy water. We do see the Excadrill protect, fearing a potential muddy water. Will we see the Calm Mind? We do see the fake out in the Braviary even, so there could be a Calm Mind here. It and does just go for the muddy wow, water. Wow, going right for the attack. You were right, Trevor. Braviary you know. with the dodge, though. Might, might have enjoyed actually taking an accuracy drop, though. Yeah, absolutely. Spot. Absolutely. A little risky, but plus two, plus two attack wouldn't be too bad. Sometimes, Trevor, you just got to risk it for the biscuit, you know? Go for it. <laughs> So now we've got turn two coming up, though. Nothing really substantial came out turn one, but frustration, he's just going Ooh. right into the Braviary slot. It misses the kill here just as we see the tectonic alive. rage coming out. What are you thinking? Who's that going into? I don't know. We got it. I'm most likely hitting into that Tapu Fini, but mm -hmm. we'll see how much that's going to do. We already showed that he did not like that Tapu Fini. No, not two. at all. And I think it'd make a lot of sense to just try to take it out right yep. away. There it is. There's the hit. We're trying to bring this thing down, but keep in mind, he doesn't have that helping hand boost. He does not. That helping hand boost might have been the call. And it, it was. Hung wow. on and got its pinch berry to heal back up. Braybird coming out. Is that but going is this into the, the double? Finny? It might be the double to try and make sure that this Finny is not able to play. And, and it still it is hangs not on. Enough. And the Braviary knocks Braviary itself, knocks out, from itself out from recoil. And Muddy Water comes off. Is this enough? It is still a super effective hit. It is. And, and that, that is, is enough. Two Pokemon the critical down hit, for the though. count. Wow. Critical RNG's did come out. Brian Yume right now. He did miss one, though, so. That's true, but, you know, it's fair and unfair at the same time. That's the logic of RNG's. Am I right, chat? It works. <laughs> so we got ourselves <laughs> Titar and Cresselia coming out on the field. So we did bring the sand mm. mode. But However, you just you're have still to wonder. Down Tapu Finney's here. You just have to wonder if that sand mode would have been helpful earlier. You know what I mean? Uh, just having that speed advantage with the Excadrill a little bit earlier in the game. So from here, though, Kangaskhan, a lot of Kangaskhans, we've seen fake out, we've seen frustration. There might be a low kick coming out, though. Yeah, there just might be. And if low kick comes out, though, it might definitely be in a bad spot. Absolutely, Trevor. Absolutely. Swapping on here, it's just going to be me for just a moment. Um, Folks, Patrick Mont's going to be joining the cast here. Trevor had to leave us for just a second. Uh, Deku VGC coming back in. This Cartana joining the field. Did you just say Deku VGC? You bet I did, that buddy. That is Deku from My Hero Academia. Excuse I am you. so sorry. The Protect coming out <laughs> yeah. from that Tyranitar. <laughs> right. Very safe play from Adi. Uh, and the, the trick, trick Room being oh set up from gosh. that Cresselia. You just got to wonder here. Can Audi make use of this Trick Room? Well, we'll have to see. Seeing as how Kartana and Kangaskhan are both known for being relatively fast Pokemon, we'll have to see. I believe that the Tyranitar can abuse this Trick Room to a decent extent. Mm, I totally agree, Patrick. Uh, this Kangaskhan has just been comfortably staying on the field for the most of this game. Uh, you just got to wonder, can Brian pull this out? I think he can. Uh, we have not seen the reveal of a Mega Titar until no. now. Well, the a only stone? issue is that that is a scarf cart. That is an assault vested Kartana, most likely. And that means that the Crystal can't knock it out. So he has to rely on a helping hand attack from Tyranitar to try and get a to try and get a knockout. And the Rock Slide. Oh, missing, missing on the Kartana. I, that, that was a crucial miss. Trying to fish for that flinch so Tyranitar can stick around for another turn is very, very crucial. Adi really wishing he had that rock slide onto that Kartana. I mean, rock slides are like playing with fire. And Players the shaking hands, and it looks down. like Brian... The low kick knocking out the Tyranitar. And it looks like uh, the players have shook hands. They've, Game isn't over yet, but it is four to one. I think like they've they've acknowledged like how this game will most likely play <laughs> out. Probably, but hey, don't sleep on the Cresselia. Pack. I mean, it is a bulky mod. Like <laughs> match, match was, was forfeited. forfeited. What a great set from these two players, Brian and Audi. Both respectable. Brian moving on to be six zero. Audi moving on to be five one. Here's the real question, though: Can Audi pull it out for the last round? We'll find out, but we're going to be getting Brian Yu for you in just a moment for an interview, so stay tuned, and within the next few minutes, we'll have Brian for you. How we doing, everybody? My name's Ryan B. Hebert, and I am here with Brian Yu, now 6-0 here at Madison Regionals. Brian, 
What are your thoughts on the win? Okay, first of all, my last name is actually pronounced Yum. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every comment here gets it wrong, but okay, it was really wrecking my brain that I choked so hard by leading, bringing Lantris into the game. But honestly, I thought I was gonna, oh, I'm gonna just go for Rock Slide Flame Chase, pretty freely. But I actually realized that I actually had to play out of my mind to actually win this set for the top cut that I wanted. I had no pressure on myself though, so I just played fairly and well, hopefully. Because I know a lot of people are probably insulting me in the chat for game one, like, when we get rain No, 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 <laughs> dude. No, chat's been great today. It's been Thanks. great. Um, and I gotta say, you and Adi played so well off of each other. And what I really loved game two is you using Adi's trick room to your advantage. Can you speak any more <laughs> on that? Well, the thing is, he really doesn't have much that outplays Kangaskhan outside of his Excadrill, which Kangaskhan puts a lot of pressure on his team because it does a lot of damage to all of his mons, even with the nerf, and the losing sub, but it still does a lot of damage, surprisingly. <laughs> but I knew he was going to go for Trick Room because, like, he, a lot of his mons are just speed my threatening mons like Cortana, Kangaskhan, and everything else. And I knew he would go something like Trick Room, so I brought Heatran, which actually had a really fair matchup mm. against Adi. I was really scared of the top of Fini, and, but I honestly knew Cartana would do his job anyway. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I think you covered all your bases beautifully. I have to ask, do you have any inspiration for the Kangaskhan team? Uh, I actually got this team from my friend Nontaro, uh -huh. and I actually tr tried to pilot it a long time ago, but I got too lazy to actually practice, so I just <laughs> blow tried everything in my head. But it's a really fun team I actually got from my friend because I, in 2015, when I didn't compete at events, mm -hmm. I really like playing around with Kangaskhan because it's one of my favorite mons. And the fact she's so strong reminded me of my kind of a mom, my mom. But that's one of the reasons I'm actually running it today because I'm thankful for my mom. I probably oh, should have wow. done it for my Mother's Day, but it, there wasn't an event in Mother's Day. So. That's, that's true. Well, that's really sweet. That's really sweet, Brian. Would you like to give anyone a shout out today? I would like to shout out the Peanut Gallery and also my friend Adia for playing phenomenally on the set. I'm hoping to see him in Top Cut soon. Absolutely. We wish the best for him. And Brian, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with the next round real soon. Enjoy.